Hey everybody, General Gray here. Thanks for stopping by to watch a video. I hope you guys enjoy it today. Uh, unfortunately, I had a small issue with recording. So the entire episode that I recorded for building and adding on to the base and working on the greenhouse and all that kind of stuff, yeah, it was just like every other second it was skipping and it just sounded absolutely horrible the the video skipped and all that kind of great stuff as well so instead i'm going to give you a little tour of what we have done and we'll go from there maybe we'll do something else so i expanded the base i did some work onto the greenhouse and here you go so we added this whole huge area over here i got a bunch more walls that i want to put up around it um, and finish it off but we added all this and we started moving some of the some of the uh, dinos around to give us more room and put these guys up here for like gargoyles uh, put these guys all down here except for the one that i'll be using a lot we've got these are the guys we got the last episode the two 150 uh dillos they're doing good and we added a whole bunch a whole whole bunch how much does it hold is it full? It looks like it's full. Not irrigated. What do you mean not irrigated? It all says not irrigated. I guess it's maybe because it's not raining. No, I'm not sure. Whatever. Um, but yeah, there's that. And I'm not sure what to do about that yet. Uh, I did have to break a wall out to go through there. I'm hoping that I can put a wall back in. I haven't tried it yet, but we put a whole bunch of water taps in here. I know that I didn't need that many. I understand that. I just kind of did it because it kind of reminds me of like a, um, <clears throat> excuse me, a hydroponics garden. Stone vertical water pipe. Can we break that? Yes, we can. Sweet. So we should be, I was trying to do something different, but it didn't quite work out the way I had planned. So we're gonna go ahead and put that there. And bam, right back to new. Um, but yeah, I put I put uh, cross pipes all in through here. I know I didn't need it. Uh, I just did it just because I thought it kind of looked cool. And I think it looks like a you know hydroponics garden if you've ever been to one of those. They're pretty cool. If you ever have a chance to go check them out, they're pretty cool. Go check them out. That kind of reminds me of that, so that's why I went with that. Um, and under here, it kind of looks kind of cool. I think it looks really cool. So we'll be able to do that. Let's see. Um, so it's definitely emptying. They all say not irrigated, but the pipes are blue, so I know that it's irrigated. It's just not, I don't think it's not uh, excuse me, I don't think it's directly to the water, so it's saying not irrigated. That's why I put, um, how many we got? Three, six, seven, we got 14. Yeah, we got 14 of these bad boys, so that should be plenty. Uh, it did pretty much wipe us out on metal. Uh, I don't have much metal left. I got a whole bunch of cement paste. Yeah, I don't have much metal yet left at all. So I'm going to have to start doing some more resource gathering and that kind of stuff. But I wanted to give you guys a little update because, yeah, I was having some real, real problems trying to record anything. So, uh, yeah, it kind of stunk. But if you guys see, right, it's kind of hard to see from here. We'll go up here. Here's the cross pipes. You can see them sticking out. And I thought they looked kind of cool, like kind of like a drain pipe or something. So not too concerned with them sticking out. So I think it looks kind of cool. Something different. But we're going to stop here for now. I'm going to go put some stuff away and try to figure out what we're going to do since uh, what I wanted to do was uh, go over all this. I mean, we got some of the guys over here. We got the raptors over here. I was thinking about putting the raptors up on top of the greenhouse, one at each corner, kind of like his gargoyles as well, but uh, yeah, it didn't quite work out. And so 
but I'm gonna go do some more stuff, get some stuff ready. I might do some resource gathering, but I'm not sure. I actually really lost my whole train of thought when uh, the entire recording went to Garbo. So it kind of was upsetting. It kind of took uh, quite a while to do this actually. Uh, and I had right at like a 23 minute video and it was like literally one of the worst videos I've ever seen. It was just like, are you kidding me? Every every second it skipped and it was just like, it was like somebody hit record and stop really, really fast for the entire time. So I was like, well, that kind of stinks. I guess we're, I guess we're done. Uh, so unfortunately that's where we're at. But like I said, we're going to get some stuff done and go from there and I will see you guys back here in just a minute all right we are back and we're gonna be coming up here I was gonna do large crop plots because I think it would look really good uh, but I had a small problem with that I'd have to learn all the Ingrams for them so I just just went with the medium crop plot because I have a blueprint Okay, we're okay. Uh, 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 I just want it about as close as it can get. Oh, that looks good. I just want it to be really, really close. It's real. Oh, that looks close. Pretty good. So if we go here. Oh, wrong button. And just go straight this way. I want to put as many of them in here as I can. Because I think it would look pretty cool with a bunch of them. Even though I'm probably going to go mostly... i say mostly narco berries. Um, because, yeah, just because. Because we're going to have so much stuff it's going to be... Don't even know what to do with all of it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to put all these in and I'll bring you guys back as soon as we get all these guys in. Alright, see you in a sec. Alright, we are back and I got a bunch of these things in now, this medium crop plots. And I think we're looking pretty good. So I just got this side done, this side is not. I just got a few in there. So I'm just going to put, there'll be four rows, and this row will pretty much be open. I can come up here and get a drink. Wait, maybe not. Hmm, interesting. I can't drink from it. Hmm. Oh well, no biggie, no biggie. But now I have decided... I want to see if I can find a cave and see if I can go in and get a um, dung beetle and I'm gonna look for a cave I'm gonna go do all that and see what I can find and when I do I shall re return all right see you back here I BRB hey everybody General Gray here and we are back and I could not get into any caves without dying uh, and I died a couple times um, I don't know what the deal is uh, I try to go in with my birds and I know you can't fly in caves anymore but I'm not gonna go in there and die like 500 times because I can't take anything in with me so I went ahead and spawned one and I spawned a level 250 and I'm actually I'm gonna spawn two so we're gonna spawn two of them get out of the way we're going to let them alone for a little bit, and we're going to... Come here, you stupid raptor. Okay, passive. Stupid raptor. Uh, see? Now we're really going to have to leave them alone for a little bit. But that's alright. We'll leave them alone. We'll get some... We'll get some dung beetles here in a little bit, but yeah, it's, I think that if the cave is large enough for you to fly in, you should be able to fly in or take it out of the game altogether, take caves all the way out. 
Um, because that's the way I feel about it. You should be able to go into a cave with anything if it's there. Uh, maybe that's just me, but that's the way I feel about it. I really do. I don't like the fact that you can't take flyers into caves. It's kind of... Actually, it's just fl plain out stupid. It really is. Uh, there's no there's no need to have a cave if you can't take flyers in. Um, somebody might say that it's OP, but not really. Um, this is not this is not a modded server, so it's not like I have anything that's so ridiculously high level that I would be able to you know take it out in instant. Um, I do have high level dinos, but nothing is so high that I'm going to walk in there and take it all out. Now, I'm not saying I should be able to take a Quetzal in and all that kind of stuff, but I should be able to take a Pterodon in or an RG in and, you know, if the cave is big enough, obviously. If it's not, then I understand it, but with the openings the way they are, they're pretty large, so I really do feel uh, I th think if we take this one out, we'll be alright. Okay, there is no gap okay so we should be all right here and it just creates a little bit more room I'm gonna take these out over here as well so I went ahead and spawn those two so we'll go we'll go ahead and get some some uh, some poop saved up and we'll go over there and hopefully get a couple of them tamed up and I was gonna just spawn 840s and I'm like no some some people might think that's completely cheating uh, not that I ri it's not that I don't care. Uh, I just like I said, I don't think it's right that you can't take a flyer or anything into a cave that is not big enough. And wow, these guys are seriously still peeved. There's nothing even around them. All right, we'll just leave them there for a little bit. We'll come back to them, but I'm gonna team. I'm gonna get some more of these walls put up. I want to get more walls. I would like to have it three high all the way around, if that's possible. Uh, if not, then at least get two for this side for now. But I'm gonna go ahead and put them walls up, and when I'm done, we'll come back. Maybe uh, we'll be able to start taming up the dung beetles. All right, BRB. All right, we are back, and I went ahead and I got three. We are three walls high all the way around the entire base. Uh, except for right about here, because the wall will not go there, because these two are too close together, so, and I've started taming, uh, they're not hungry yet again, so, I gotta run around, see if I can find some more poop, and all that kind of good stuff, collect that up, get them to eat, and once they are tamed, we'll be good to go, we'll bring them out, and I'm gonna try, you're supposed to be able to pick them up, so I'm gonna try to bring them in here, I'd like to let them go inside the greenhouse, but I'm not sure if that will work. Ooh, got one. Any more? Oh, other one. Got one. Anybody else? Anybody else? Ooh, got one. Might be a little one, but it'll work. It'll get us there. It'll get us there. Anybody else? Anybody else? No, no. Oh, there's one. Come on. We need a large one. Another small one. It's all right. Small one's better than none. Ooh. Not hungry again. Not hungry yet. All right, so we're going to wait on these guys. I'm going to tame them up because this is a pretty slow process. Just waiting on them to get hungry and all that kind of good stuff. So I will do that, and I will be back as soon as I'm done. All right, be and we are back, and we got the second one tamed up. Taking this one up here as well. Put them in here. And I found out that once they're encumbered, they stop producing. So you got to be careful not to do that. I didn't know that to begin with. So we're going to put some. We got any large, large, medium. What's its weight? Is 16. So 
medium, medium. Okay, so that should be good for now. This guy here, we're going to put some mediums in there as well. Yeah, so we're going to let these guys do their business. It says online that it should take about 15 minutes per piece of feces to produce oil and uh, fertilizer. So what I would like to do is also go over here and get a... Oh, what am I trying to say? Get a storage box and put one up there for the fertilizer. Uh, where do I put them? There they are. I want two because I think I'm going to try to fill them. And it, once I fill them, then I think that's when I'll start planting and I'll still use them. I'm not saying I won't use them. I'm just going to try to get everything situated first because I think that will benefit us better than you know, just trying to, uh, you know, use them. Okay, that looks pretty square. That looks pretty square. Put one here. And will one fit? No, it won't. So, maybe another one down here. On the other end. Yeah, it's fairly square. Good. Looks good. Right there. Eh, not perfectly. Whatever. I don't care. But I'll just go ahead and put these in here. If they decompose or whatever, or rot, whatever you want to call it, then no big deal. Oops, I want to keep that. Okay, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. All right, let's go put these eggs away. So now we're going to be able to get the garden up and going really, really soon. So I'm probably going to go jump on the Bronto and get a bunch of seeds together. Um, what I want to get—I want to get rid of the eggs. I broke this wall out so I can use this wall and land my Quetzal here to be able to unload metal really quickly. All uh, right, here. All right, so we're doing good. Now we just need to get some crops and some some other stuff going on. All right, so I'm going to go out. I'm going to get some seeds, and I think, unless I have some. Nope, that's all wood. Actually, no. I think, I think it's about time that we go and look for something else to tame up. I'm not really sure what I want to tame up right now. I think I'm going to take the Quetzal, though, because I think uh, she can carry a little bit more weight than I would actually need. And just in case, I'm going to grab some narcotics and some stuff like that and get ready, and we'll head out and see if we can find something fun to tame. All right, BRB. All right, and we are back, and we are getting eaten by a level 150 male Carno. So I brought the fast Quetzal because... Uh, I figured it might be easier, and I'm glad I did because, uh, yeah, he's uh, he's eating me. He's eating my leg. So we need to get back to base in a hurry so we can uh, drop him in that taming pen, and hopefully nothing else gets hit. I moved everything away from the taming pen because the dung beetles kept aggroing on everything. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully, I can get this guy in there in the first try. Uh, but we'll see here in a second. Load in. Oh, 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 my leg. Let's see, go real slow. Oh, that's one way to get him to stop biting. Okay, I, for some reason, he's going to be right in front of me. There we go, right behind me. Come out of here. Get in there, get in there. Yeah. Yeah, okay, it took a couple tries, but no big deal. 
so now I've got to go in and get some darts because I put all my stuff away. Um, didn't even realize that until I did it. Got that, got that. Okay, we got a long neck rifle, and I lost my good long neck rifle uh, because I died in one of the caves. Uh, I started flying in and fell off my uh, RG uh, pretty much right away, and that was kind of frustrating. Uh, like I said, they need to fix that. You should be able to fly in there. Okay, why, why are you not shooting? Okay, here. We put these in the guns. Reload. There we go. So we're going to knock this guy out. Level 150. And once he's knocked out, I'm going to go get some prime. And uh, we'll tame him up. This will be really, really nice. This will be cool. Oh, get back. Connors, carnals are fun. They look, uh, to me, they remind me of like a derpy freaking T-Rex. But that's just me. So I'm going to keep plunking away at him. Then I'm going to go get some prime. And I'll bring you guys back once he uh, once he's up. And uh, hopefully I'll have a saddle by then as well. All right, BRB. All right, we are back. And sh he should be getting up right. There we go, right now. So we now have a new carnal. And we're going to put this saddle on him. And we're going to take him out just for a minute. And we're going to go and check and kill a couple things real quick. See how he is base level. Right now he's 3361 health. Stamina is 1380. Weight is 722. Melee is 666.6. Movement speed is 100%. So we're going to grab the Quetzal. We're going to grab him out. And we're going to go murder a couple of things right quick. Um, miss. Okay, let's try this again. Got him. So, let's jump on him. And let's go see. All oh, stop. All oh, stop. Let's go see what he's like. This is just base stats. We're going to go up against whatever. We're going to find something halfway decent real quick. And I'm going to run around until I find something halfway decent. I'm not going to kill anything until we get there. And as soon as I find something halfway decent, I will bring you guys back for it. All right. So All right. I found something that just might be a little challenging. It's a 135 Gigantopithecus. So let's see. Come on. Take, get done pooping. Okay. Nothing has been bumped whatsoever until now. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty lackluster. Let's see if we can find something else. What's this? 125 Scorpion. Okay, pretty lackluster as well. Okay, we need to find something good. I need to find something good. These little bitty... These little bitty animals. You know, I see something. I need a carnal. Like a high level carnal. Or even a Rex. I'd take on a Rex. I might die, but I'd take on a Rex. A couple of tracks. Let's see what they are. 45 and a 15. And there's two of them. Let's see what happens. Oh, that was lackluster as well. We need something good. Okay. I need to change the bloom quality and light shafts again. That's one thing I wish it would save your... Get out of the way. Wish it would save what you typed in there in the admin codes. Alright, there's a, there's a Bronto. What level? 60. What level are you? 55. Yeah. Maybe the Bronto will be a little bit of a challenge. I have still yet bumped. I have not bumped anything yet.
Eh, this is not even a challenge either. This car now is pretty beefy. Yeah. Alright guys, I think we're going to call it there. I'm going to level this guy up just around this little line mode for a little bit. And I hope I see you guys on my next video really soon. If you guys like it, hit that like button for me. That would be awesome. Subscribe if you have not subscribed. And share it with your friends. That would be cool. Alright, see you in my next video. Alright.